Hey fellow beaters, it's JP. I've got another tutorial for you. I've got some of these bugles. As I said, I had a big giant box of bugles <laughs> in lots of different colors, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. This is actually a pretty simple, straightforward ladder stitch bracelet and lots of fun to make. You're going to need some bugles. So these are three and four millimeter bugles, but you can use the longer ones. You're just going to make, you're just going to need longer, you're just going to need more seed beads if you have like the five millimeter bugles or something like that. I've got my 11s, these are just the Mayuki Galvanized Silver uh, 11 o beads. And then I've got some rondelles here, these are 3 by 4 And this sort of pale pink color, which kind of matches the, the bugles. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can use another uh, 3 or 4 millimeter bead in here. So, you know, bicones. Um, I don't think the rounds are going to work as well with this, so Bicone's Fire Polish are going to work a lot better, um, and then the, of course the rondelles. So go ahead and give that, um, grab some of those, and I'm using Fireline Thread, so six pound. I've used the smoke because that creates a greater contrast, um, so you can see what I'm working with. But of course, go ahead and use the crystal if you're using a light color like I did here. Um, but that's all you're going to need, and... Let's get started. So to begin, you wanna pick up two bugle beads, just like this, and have them at the bottom of your thread like I do here. And I'm using the dark color thread because it provides contrast so you can see. And then go back through the first bugle bead. So there's the two. And you want them to basically line up side by side like this. And just like so. You want to try to pick beads that are about the same length or as close as possible. Um, I know sometimes that's not easy, especially because of the beads that I have. They're not the best quality. So do your best. And so I'm going to pick up the next one. And you want to go, you see the direction that the thread is coming out. I want to go in the opposite direction. So this is ladder stitch. And there it is. Uh, and you just want to give it a tug until it gets lined up straight. And this is what you end up with. Now what you want to do is then just go back through into that first bead. Just like so. And then pick up three 11s. And go into, you're going to skip over this one and go directly into the first one, or the one all the way to the right. In my, well, uh, yeah, in my case, it's the right or the left, depending on which direction you're going in. And this is what you're going to get. Now, once again, go through that first bugle bead, and I'll move my th thumb out of the way so you can see where the thread is exiting. And then you want to exit out of the middle. 11. And I'm just going to flip this upward and make sure you're, there's no slack in your thread. So you have that. And now pick up four 11s. And just go back around just that middle one. And I'm going to move this tail thread out of the way so you can really see what's going on and not get confused by all the different threads. Okay, so go back through that middle one. And I'm just going to flip the work just so that I'm working up in that direction, just turning it up. And go through the first 11 in that group of four that we just picked up. And what you're gonna do is pick up an 11 and go into the next 11. like so, and what we're doing is making the clasp or loop right here. So I'm gonna pick up another 11, go into the next 11 here. I 
again, pick up an 11, and this time you're going through the next two 11. So you're going to go into this one, and then the one that's the middle where we started, basically. So there's our loop, and the jump ring will fit through there, and you'll be good to go. Now, before we continue, so if this feels loose, which it is here, um, what we're going to do is actually reinforce that uh, next. So coming out of that middle one, go into the 11 and then up into the bugle. Just like so, then back down into the third bugle and then the first 11. Also, you can reinforce. So now go into the middle 11 and then reinforce this whole thing once more. So I'm just going to turn the work just so as I reinforce this. So not adding any beats, just reinforcing. So in this case, because of the diamond pattern, you may have to go through only two beats at a time, just to warn you. And One more time, back up the 11 and then the bugle. Okay, so now that we've, that's all been reinforced, what we're gonna do now is start the next part. So go ahead and pick up an 11, or sorry, a bugle rather, not an 11, and then go again into the first bugle and through the 11. And you want to get this to lie down horizontally across the three. So I am just going to go through the seed bead again. This is the middle seed bead I'm going through, and then I'll go through the seed bead after that and up into the bugle. So, and then once again, Give that a tug so that sits uh, flat, and then go into this new bugle that we just added. All right, and now we're gonna continue adding more bugles. So I'm gonna pick up my next bugle and do my ladder stitch. So if I can just get my, there we go, got my needle through one. So now I'm gonna, the thread's coming down, so I'm just gonna go through that bugle from the top. Pull those two close and get the slack from the thread. And then go up into the bugle. And now pick up the third bugle and go up into the second bugle. And again, you just have to push them together just like that, and you're good. So, this is what we're building so far. Now, pick up a bugle, and we're gonna change directions this time. Or actually, I guess, uh, yeah, so you're changing direction. So these are now going to be lined up vertically. So then pick up the next bugle and go back up into the first one here. Just like so. And again, all we're doing is ladder stitch.
and this is the one part of the bugle <laughs> part that's going to be annoying is getting them to just sit and line up. It just takes a little bit of work. Um, and as you can see, if this happens, so what you just want to do is loosen it to bring the first one down and then pull the second one in closer until you're lined up again. And then go ahead and actually you want to come out of the middle second bugle here that we just added. Then pick up this third one and go back through that middle one again. So, and then back up the more recent one that we added. So that reinforces that. And then what you're going to do, so you can see how they're separated. So they're all connected to just that one part. So what you're going to do is then go back into the first bugle. Then through this one that's horizontal. And then I just flip the work, see, up this bugle here. And that connects them all together. Now add the bugles horizontally. So in order to do that, just go ahead and go through. You're coming out of this first one, pick up a bugle, and then go into the third one here. And again, just force that into position. So I'm just tightening the thread to make sure that it stays nice and tight. And then I'm going to go up into the first one here. So I'm skipping over the middle bugle. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm going over into the third one. And then just pull it tight. Go ahead and then go through the horizontal one here. And then now go ahead and do the ladder stitch to continue adding our bugle. So now I picked up a bugle and I'm just going to go ahead and go into the first bugle and get it all lined up and tightened. And again, pick up my next one here, go back through. push that into place to get that to line up again and then just come out of that most third bugle. So you want to make sure that you're keeping the thread nice and tight. This should feel, the bugles together should feel very secure. And now I'm just going to flip the work and so we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to now do them vertically. So in order to do them vertically, pick up two bugles, bring them down, and then you're going to go through that first bugle. So here they are. I'm going to go through the first one. And what I'm doing is actually trying to put them together so it makes it easier for them to come together. So I do apologize if my thumb is constantly in the way. It's, it's hard to show something on camera sometimes <laughs> and keep it all nice and tight too. So go back through into the, middle, the second bugle now. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up my third. And again, go back through that second one once more to get it lined up. So the bugle and the thread don't want to line up. <laughs> so here they are. I'm just trying to 
I'm just gonna pull it tight. And again, I apologize that my thumb is in the way, but it's the only way to get them to, to tighten the slack there and the thread. And actually what I'm gonna do is just come up this bugle here and that should help with the thread issue. There we go. So you see, they're all lined up together. Now, so anytime we do them vertically like this, they're separated from this piece here. So all I'm doing is going into the first piece, the first bugle rather, and then through the, the horizontal bugle and then up into the third bugle. And that connects the piece. It connects this group of three to this, to the bracelet completely. And now you're in position to add the next set. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bugle and go into this first one here. So coming out of that one, go into the first one. And that gets it laying down, then go up, go across. Back to the first one. And then into the horizontal one. And now just add your bugles. So go back up. Come out of this one. And then add your next one, or pick up your next one and then go into the, the second bugle there. Pull it close like that and you're good to go. So over and set. There it is. And now pick up two, bring them down And what you're going to do is pull the second one down so it's right next to the first one. And actually what I might do is actually switch the second one out because you can see there's a big difference in the length. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that there's a big difference in the length. So I'm going to back out of this one. It's a little bit too short. And find one that's a little bit similar. Yep, yeah, that one's similar. And all I'm going to do is go back up into that first one. So to continue with my ladder stitch. So there they are. There's the two together. Still a little bit of difference in length, but this one's a little bit closer, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And now pick up a third one and go back through the middle one, or what's going to be the middle one, the second one here. Get this one to line up. And then just go through it. And tighten up the, th the slack and the thread. So again, these are separated like I did before. So go through the first one. through the horizontal one that's at the top there, and then through the third one. Okay, so hopefully you have gotten the gist of what I'm doing and how to go ahead and switch directions and add, keep adding the bugle beads here. So keep going until you get to the length that you desire. All right, so once you've made the desired length of bracelet that you need, so here's what you should have. What you wanna do is you wanna end with the bugles in this vertical direction. So very the same as where we started down here. And then what you're gonna do is pick up three elevens and go back. So you should be, your thread should be coming out of one bugle on one end. So go into the bugle at the other end and that should line up the seed beads along the top. Then go through this horizontal bugle right there at the top. 
then up this view bugle at the end and then through the first two elevens. You want to make sure the thread again is nice and tight. I want to okay make sure that's in focus. Okay. Pick up four elevens. Go back through just that middle eleven. I'm just flipping the work because I can work better from the left. Go through the first 11. Then pick up an 11, go into the next one. Pick up an 11, go into the next one. Pick up an 11, just one, and go into the next two 11s. So now we've got our diamond shaped uh, clasp loop, that's the word I'm looking for there. <laughs> so you'll be able to get a jump ring through here and go from there. So now we're going to continue down to go through this. 11 and then through the bugle. Then pick up three 11s, go back around the bugle, and you should have the three 11s uh, lined up next to the bugle just like that. Then pick up an 11 and a rondelle and an 11. And you're gonna skip over these three and go into the next horizontal bugle here, or the vertical bugle rather, not the horizontal ones. Just like that. And then again, pick up three and go back around the bugle. And for the next part, pick up an 11, a rondelle and an 11, skip over those three and go into the next bugle over here. And this is what you're gonna get. And then for the next one, what you're gonna do is again, pick up three 11s and go back around the bugle. Uh, one thing you may find is that it might be just a little tricky to get the needle through. It will go through. It shouldn't. Your bugle shouldn't be too filled with um, thread. So, and just pop that into place. And you just want to repeat this pattern all the way down and then what you're going to do is um, once you get down to the bottom here go through these three seed beads and then you can you're back in position to start again and go up the other side so it should be very straightforward and just keep going so I've completed one side here I've gotten that one side embellished so I'm here at the bottom of coming out of this bugle at the end and um, what I'm gonna do, one thing that I've noticed that's happening is that there's a little bit of a gap here. Um, you'll see it at the top, but I can, we'll fix that once we get there. But over here, in order to avoid the gap, what I'm gonna do is I'm coming out of this bugle here. So I'm gonna go up into the middle bugle and make sure my thread doesn't get wrapped around. And then what I'm gonna do is just go across and what I wanna do is come out of this seed beads here is essentially what I want. So make sure you go through all three of those and then pick up an 11 and then go through the three seed beads here. So I'm, I'm going through the two
and then go through what the third one here. So I go through those two. And then um, go ahead and pick up 411. So this, we should be able to fix this on this side. Just for this one end. So I'm just going to turn this over and then go through the bugle. Just like so. And then what you're going to do is actually skip over the one and just go through the three. And that should get it all to pop into place and kind of look even. So now the seed beads are going around the bugles and there isn't that huge gap. It's not a big deal, it's an optional step. You can totally skip this if you are okay with it. So don't have to be all, you know, <laughs> as uh, anal as I'm being. Anyway, so then just continue all the way down, pick up an 11 a rondelle, skip over this group and Go ahead and come out of this one here at the end. And see, now it's all nice and neat. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our three. And just wrap back around that bugle. Also, if you do find that it's too tight to go through the end bugle, then go ahead and skip over and go around the middle one and you can kind of do a loop around that. You just make sure you don't completely tighten it It'll and the beads will still sit. So that way you don't accidentally break the bugle. But it shouldn't be a problem because we haven't gone around them too much. Okay, so keep going until you get to the end and then just don't forget to add those extra seed beads if you want. Okay, so here we are at the end. Here is the bracelet with the both sides embellished. So I'm coming out of that bugle and what I'm gonna do is go around into the middle, go through the middle bugle and then come down the three elevens. And then just pick up an 11, go through the th three elevens here. Gotta go through one more. And then I'm just going to pick up one more 11 and go through the next three 11s. And I'm going to go ahead and tie off now. So that should basically finish it. So I'm just going to go through this 11 and then do a half inch knot between the 11 and the rondelle. And my thread's a little bit short. So there we go. And then continue and do maybe one more with between the next set of 11 and rondelle here. So just going to go through that 11 and then do another knot right there. And then just weave the thread away. up there and there you go. So there it is. And I'm just going to trim the thread. All right, and the last thing to do is add my clasp. So I'm just going to grab my jump rings. So just open the jump ring, fit it through the diamond shaped loop and close the jump ring. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Pop it in. And of course, close the jump ring. So. 
and make sure you get a good grip because I I'm not getting a good grip there. I need to get myself a second set of flat nose pliers. The round nose just don't cut it. <laughs> anyway, here is our completed Eagle bracelet. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This was just so much fun to make. I do it in lots of pretty colors. I went with pink today, which is not my norm, but anyway, uh, I hope you like this and I will see you in the next tutorial.